Hello, my name is Connie Liu. I'm an undergraduate at MIT, and today we're going to be doing concept questions about fungi reproduction. So first off, what phases are fungi diploid? All right, so for this question, it's easiest to look at one of these reproduction charts for fungi. And then if you look at it, it's only diploid when it's here. And here is just right after karyogamy, which is a fusion of nuclei. When two haploid nuclei fuse, it would obviously create a diploid nuclei. And that's one of the zygote forms. And the zygote actually automatically um, goes straight into meiosis. And then right after meiosis, it is again haploid. So it's a very, very short period of time, um, at least in terms of this chart, that that uh, fungi are actually diploid. Um, just like in humans, right during meiosis, meiosis is the process that creates haploid cells from diploid cells. So um, once sport producing structures are formed, it is again going to be haploid. So for the next question, in what conditions do mold form? All right, so there's actually three important needs that mold have in order to form. And that's moisture. It needs kind of a damp environment to be able to um, be in optimal conditions for reproducing. So um, those mold spores need to find somewhere pretty damp. That's why mold sometimes grows in your kitchen cabinets right under the sink. It's pretty moist and um, damp down there. Same with your basement. Um, and then a lot of food that has moisture on it, such as fruit, are very prone to getting moldy. They also have to be warm, and by warm I mean around room temperature. That's why if you refrigerate your food, mold usually doesn't grow for a very, very long time. But if you leave your food out for a long time, such as say bread or fruit, mold starts to grow and then you get those kind of furry looking spores um, replicating all over it because those conditions are optimal because food is available for them. They're able to get their nutrients from the same food that you and I eat. Um, and then they take those nutrients in, and then those become optimal conditions for mold spores to replicate. So those are the main uh, questions we'll be going over for fungi reproduction.